Hey, what's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and clarify some things that you guys have been posting down in the comment section from my last video on how to install uh, plugins such as LUTs to be more specific. And I'm also going to be showing you guys a different LUTs in this tutorial. So be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. But uh, link will be down in the description for the newest uh, LUT that I'm going to show you guys in this video. But mainly, I'm going to show you guys how to kind of fix that problem that a lot of you guys are really having. And that is how you how do you actually install the LUT. Now, I know I actually made a video on how to install them. But a lot of you guys have been having a lot of trouble finding the M installer, especially on the website. So I'm going to go ahead and just clarify something so what you want to go ahead and do is go to the description of course to the video I'll just leave this again down in the description so you guys can quickly have access to it so we have the motion VFX LUT plugin go ahead and click on that okay it's gonna go ahead and load up into this right and I'm assuming you guys have a Mac because this only works on a Mac or an Apple computer what you actually want to do is there's gonna be a link right here and I'll have the direct link to this as well in the description it says M installer or the M installer go ahead and click on learn more and then from here, you want to go ahead and click the free download, and then it says Mac only. This is the actual download for the installer, so you guys can then download the actual plugin for Final Cut Pro 10. So you go ahead and click on free download. It's going to download as a .dmg. Once you've done that, I'm also going to go into the downloads, and you're going to go ahead and open up the minstaller.dmg, which I already did. So it's going to go ahead and open up the file here. And then it's going to go ahead and just bring you this thing here where you can drag this into the applications folder. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and go into the finder, go to applications, and then you're going to go into the minstaller. And usually you're going to have this as well. Go ahead and exit that and go to applications. Open up the minstaller by just double clicking on it. And then from here, what you want to go ahead and do is it's going to go ahead and open on your menu bar right there. Now, it is going to ask you to sign up or sign in. Be sure to create an account. It is for free. So if you guys don't already do that, click on log out and it's going to look like this. Okay. So what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and log in. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. If not, click on create account and it's going to take you to this website here. It says sign up, submit and go to your email. Be sure to, uh, you know, verify your email address. Once you've done that, go back here, then go ahead and log in with the email and the password that you use to create the account. And then it's going to say to remember password, just click on no thanks. And then now you're in the actual products here. Now be sure to click on all, not templates or plugins. You guys can do plugins as well if you want to narrow down the actual things. Now you're probably not going to have this, okay? And this is where everyone gets confused because if you go to the Google and you go to M installer and you look up, I would go to the search and look up Mlet or LUT or something. Look up Mlet and then it's going to go ahead and search and then be sure that you actually click on it and you add it to the cart. So it's going to be this one. Click on free, add it to the cart and it's going to be in your cart. You want to go ahead and log in again if you're not already logged in. Click on log in and then from here it's going to go ahead and take you to your account go on to it's going to take you to the cart click i accept click checkout it's for free it's not going to charge you and then now it says your order blah 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 your purchased products are now available for installation so now once you've done that you now can install it from the m installer here and then once you've done that go ahead and make sure final cut pro 10 is is not running while you install it once you've installed it and you open up Final Cut Pro 10, again, you're going to go ahead, I'm going to delete this. You're going to go into the, you're going to go to the effects and then you're going to go down and you're going to see the emlet. You should see the emlet. Go ahead and drag this on top and then now you should have the actual plugin so you guys can use and use custom LUTs for your videos. And the look that I'm going to be using today or in today's video is one that a friend has let me use to uh, review in this video and it's actually really cool guys you guys can do a whole bunch of different stuff and different styles of other videos that you guys want to kind of replicate and that's the awesome thing here and it is 32 32 dollars and 20 cents so if you buy it you get 30 percent off from 46 dollars so that's a pretty good deal he does include over 70 looks which is absolutely crazy i don't even know any other lots that have this many in a bundle which is pretty cool 
and you do save 24 bucks and here are the blockbuster series so he has listed the blockbuster one blockbuster 2 and blockbuster 3 and all of these programs here work with this LUT so once you go ahead and buy it you're gonna go ahead and go to the downloads and then just like the same tutorial that we did last time so here is the video right here and we're gonna go to the load custom LUT so the same thing here I'm gonna go to the downloads and I'm, I'll go ahead and choose the rocket rooster or the rocket rooster blockbuster bundle and you're gonna have a whole bunch of folders here now all of these are usually a dot cube file so they should work with most if mostly all uh, video editing programs so the one that I use is the RR uh, blockbuster 1 2 and 3 there's a lot to cover I'm not gonna go through each single one but the even he even also included a bonus pack which is pretty cool guys I would I would suggest you guys check this out so like maybe you want to do this one and they have like I guess he kind of simulated one so like sniper I think this would be from that sniper movie I'm not I, I don't know but I'm gonna click on load and it's gonna go ahead and load it and yes it does look like the sniper uh, movie color grading and you can also do a different one so you can do like gangster if you wanted to however we are kind of working with a more warmer colored tone here and we're gonna go to the first blockbuster one and here you have a whole bunch of stuff you have impossible you have mockingbird now these are titles used for movies of course we have mockingbird mockingbird does have a warm kind of tone or feeling to it so I'm gonna click on load it's a little warmer it's still kind of bluish uh, so let's go ahead and choose a different one. We can do Furious if you wanted to. Click on Load. And you can go ahead and install. Not install, but just apply the LUT to the video. Now, of course, you can do this with a whole a whole bunch of different videos that you guys can do. Now, when, what I would suggest you guys do when you add a LUT is to change the levels because it does make the video dark. So be sure to brighten it up just a little bit. Don't go too much because then it starts to get noisy. And you get to see those little grains in the video, which isn't too pleasing to the eye. In this case, we're not going to be messing with the LUT right now. But if we wanted to and go in a little bit further and we go to Command 6 and we go to the Exposure, here we can do some minor tweaking. And if we really want to get advanced, we can go to the View. We can go into, I believe it's in the Window and Show in Workspace. And then we can do, it has to be a, a histogram or something. Workspace, color and effects. Here we go. So once you've done that here, we go into the actual exposure and we can see what we need to change in these values right here. You never want to go past zero and I would say 100. You guys can go ahead and tweak this however you want, but I just kind of wanted you guys to check out his LUTs. They are really cool guys they honestly are if you guys want me to do more videos with this or kind of like a in real life example with actual filming be sure to leave a like that'd be awesome guys your support has been the best recently and i really love that comment down what you guys want to see next on my next video and also guys i hope you found this video helpful because uh, i kind of wanted to clear up some things with you guys and if you found it helpful and it cleared up some questions then please leave a like, that'd be awesome. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.